so hello everybody and welcome back to another video and in this video we we'll solve problem helping the nature that was from round 802 so let's get started uh, so in the problem we have been given an array of size n so something like a1 a2 a3 so on till a of n and we have been given three operations in operation one we can choose some index i and remove the prefix that is we can remove one from the prefix so we can remove one from all the elements one two three up to element i similarly we have been given an operation two in which we can choose an index i and remove one from all the suffix starting from i so we can remove one from i i plus one so on up to n and then we have been given an operation three in which we can add one to all the elements in the array. So we can add one to all the elements from one to three up to n, right? We have to use these three operations and con convert the whole array to zero. Convert the whole array to zero. And we have to tell the minimum number of operations that are required to do so. We have to tell the minimum number of operations to do this. right so how can we do this i think the very main observation in this is the only observation that you need is that the order of operations does not matter the order of operation does not matter what i mean by that is if you have to take an example let's take the example of one three one four so let's say I do operation one on index three first, then I do an operation two on index two, and then let's say I do an operation three. So if you simulate this, you will get operation two on index three. So that will be zero, two, zero, and four. Then operation two on index two. So that will be zero, one, minus one, and three. Then you do operation three. So that will be one, two, zero, and four. Then let's say I, then let's say I shuffle the operation. So let's say uh, so let's say I do operation two. On index two first, then I do an operation three, and then uh, let's say I do operation one on index three, right? So I have, I so I have shuffled the operations. So if you do operation two on index two, it will be uh, how much? One, two, zero, and three. Then you do operation three, so it will be two, three, one, and four. Then you do operation one on index three, so it will be one, two, zero, and four. So as you can see here, the end arrays are equal. The end arrays are equal. So the order of operation uh, does not matter. Uh, in whichever order you do operations, the end result will be same. So using that, we will shift. We will shift all our addition operations, all our addition operations, to the end. Right? As the order does not matter, we will shift all our addition operations to the end. So what that means is. First, we will only use operation one and operation two. First, we will only use operation one and operation two and make all elements equal. Make all elements equal. And then use addition operations if required. Then use addition operations, addition or operation one or operation two to make all the elements zero. Make them all zero. Right? So that is the significance of obs observation one. It is important uh, to see this observation to see that you can shift all your addition operations in the end. And using this, you can say that using operation one and operation two, I will first make all the elements equal and then use addition operations to make all the equal elements equal to zero. So let's see how we can do this. So let's take an example and try to solve this. So let's take the uh, same example from before. Let's take the example one three and one four. So we will start from the left and try to make all the elements equal. So we will start from the left. Uh, so if you compare one and three, uh, as we as we can uh, as we can only remove ones, we cannot apply operation on one, right? So we have to apply operation on three. So we will apply two operation twos. We will apply apply two op operation on the suffix, right? We will apply two operation on the suffix and we will keep a counter. So we have applied two operations on the suffix. So we will, so we will keep a counter suffix operations. So the, here the suffix operation now will now be two. So now th this element is one. This element is now also one. So now these two elements are equal, right? 
and we, we will also add these two operations to our answer so now my answer is also equal to 2 my suffix operations is also equal to 2 so now i will move to my second and third element so now i will compare 1 and 1 but this 1 is not 1 anymore right because i have applied uh, two operations on the suffix now so now this one is not one anymore so now my one is equal to one minus suffix operations right so that is equal to one minus two that is equal to minus one so my th th this value is minus one now so now i will compare one and minus one obviously one is larger so i have to apply one operations on one to make it equal to minus one so i will apply two operations on my prefix and make them equal to minus one so it will be minus one minus one and minus one so I applied no suffix operation. So my suffix operation is still two. My suffix operations is still two. I applied two operations on the prefix. So my answer will be equal to two plus two. That is equal to four now. Right. So now I will move on to the uh, fourth element. That is minus one, minus one, minus one, four. Also, th this four is not four anymore because I applied two operations on the suffix. So my four will be equal to four minus suffix operations that is equal to 4 minus 2 that is equal to 2 so now my, this element is equal to 2 obviously my 2 is larger so i have to apply operations on 2 so i will apply three operations on 2 and make it and make it equal to minus 1 it will be minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 uh, i applied three operations here so minus 1 here my suffix operations will be equal to now uh, 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5 and my answer will be equal to 4 plus 3 that will be equal to 7 now my all the elements are equal right so now i can apply the addition operation or op operation 3 on this so now i can apply operation 3 on this right so after applying operation operation 3 on this one time because the magnitude of all the elements is equal to 1 so i i, I only have to apply this, this operation one time right so i apply this operation one time and my all the elements will become zero so my answer will be equal to 7 plus 1 that is equal to 8 and i will apply the number of operations here that is absolute of a of 0 times right that is how many times i will apply the operation for example if my array was something like minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 i will apply the addition operation two times right so i will apply the addition operations absolute of a of 0 times so that will be your solution to the problem and if I have to show it, uh, I, if I have to summarize it once again, I will start from a of zero and move up to a of n minus one and make them all equal. How, how will I make them all equal? I will keep a counter suffix operations. It will start with zero. Then I will keep on comparing a of i plus one minus suffix operations and i will compare a of i if a of i is larger if a of i is larger or equal to a of i plus one minus my minus suffix operations i will apply operation one here i will apply operation one here a of i plus one a of i minus a of i plus one minus suffix operation times similarly if a of i plus one minus suffix operations is greater than a of i then i will apply operation on the suffix that is i will apply operation to a of i minus suffix operations minus a of i a of i plus one here minus a of i times and i will update the counter this is my else condition this is my if condition then I will update the counter of my suffix operation time. I will update the counter of my suffix operations. Right? Equal to whatever this value is, I will update it here also. Right? So I will use this and in the end, in the end I will have, a, have an array with all, with all the equal elements. The array can be something like 2, 2, 2, 2. If it is something like this, I can apply operation 1. I can I, I can apply operation one two times on this on index n minus one right and if array is something like minus two minus two minus two I can apply operation three two times so basically when all the so basically when all the elements are equal you can apply absolute of a of zero operations right 
सो इन दी एंड योर आंसर विल बी योर आंसर विल बी ऑपरेशन रिक्वायर्ड ऑपरेशन वन और ऑपरेशन टू रिक्वायर्ड to make all elements equal and then absolute of a of 0 operations required to make them all zero so that will be a solution to the problem and if you guys want to see the code for this Raise my code. Raise my prefix val. I am using it to store the equal equal values, right? The values that we are changing it to. Then here's here's here the suffix remove or the my or my suffix operations. Here is my answer. So my v of i will be equal to v of i minus equal to suffix operations that I have done so far. And if my v v of i is less, then I will have to do operations on the prefix. So I I will do operations on the prefix. otherwise i will have to do operation on the suffix and when i do operation on the suffix i will add them to my suffix removed and in the end i will add add to my answer value of a of 0 right so my prefix value is kind of storing all the equal values so i am using uh, here the prefix of val instead of a of 0 right so you can like pause the video and see my code or you can go to my code which is handle and see the code from there but i will i will recommend you guys code it yourself uh so i think the solution is clear enough and if you guys have a doubt do let me know in the comments and i will be happy to help you out also if you guys don't know continue newton school is offering a full stack development course the course is uh, over 6 months long and it is totally based on after placement model and you don't have to pay anything there is zero hidden fees there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs so it is a very great opportunity also all their mentors are from top mncs like google flipkart zomato etc also they will get you placed into the top mncs as well like google flipkart zomato uh, so uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourself Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think कि यार मेरे को भी कोडिंग आती नहीं है मे भी फ्रेशर मेरे को बिल्कुल नहीं आता है द कोर्स इज ओवर सिक्स मंथ लॉन्ग एंड दे विल टीच यू फ्राम स्क्रैच सो यू कैन स्टिल साइन अप फॉर दिस एंड इफ यू गाइज आर लुकिंग फॉर अ करियर इन द टेक फील्ड दिस इज अ वेरी दिस इज अ वेरी ग्रेट हेड स्टार्ट दैट यू शुड साइन अप फॉर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू लैंड अ जॉब आई हाईली uh i highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be link down below and you can go and sign up from there so yeah you know be sure to sign up for this and i will see you in the next video bye bye